All right, so now we're going to, I want you to draw three circles. It wasn't really so better than the other one. Okay. I want you to consider that when we're trying to move forward, so remember this is a process that you can do for yourself, for your children and your family, for your team. So when I shared this with Alita a couple of weeks ago, she was so, she, she just felt there was a clarity in having, bringing her people together and what we called a talking circle and just allowing people to experience their experience and have it be acknowledged. But often what happens is, and what she was trying to do, was she was trying to push into the future. Now, how, you know, now I've got to get them ready to, let's rebuild. Now we've got to go, we've got to make sure we're great next year. But, you know, getting ready like that, but pushing her people out of an exhausting, challenging time was not going to be sustainable. So the future is that we want to live into. Who do I want to be? Um, what do I want to, what do I want to create? Who do I want to be? What do I want to create? What do I want to, and what do I want to live? What's the life I want to live? Now, that could be in any area, right? So that could be in your relationships, in your leadership, in your health and the wellbeing wheel that we've, we've done, um, all of those areas or more. So wherever it is in your life that you're focusing on this call, um, who do I want to be in that area? What do I want to create? And what's the life I want to live? What does that feel like? What does that look like? What's happening in that, in that future that's not happening now? What is it, what's the future that I'm going to create, right? Um, and, you know, who's around me? All of those things. But we try and create this from a place of pushing away from this. And that's where we get stuck because we don't realise that we're, wanting, we're, try, we're creating this through limited thinking or through ang anxiety or through fear or through just working hard. So we don't realise that we're creating a future that's similar to the past. It's just some version of the past, yes? So we're actually, that doesn't work. We want to create this from, from new, from a blank page. Right, from a clean slate. So, because then that's when it's infinite and unlimited. Otherwise, it's some version of this. If we're, if we're wanting to create a future, what we first need to do is think about the past. And this is part of the process that I want to give you. So let's say if we think about the last few months or the last seven months or whatever that is for you that's been a period that you want to now move forward from. I want you to think about, I want you to write these questions down. So. What did I love and enjoy about the last seven months? And that might be, I loved having extra time. I loved time with my kids. I loved being at home more. Now, I'm not saying that this is true for everyone, but what is it that you loved? For me, I loved having more time to meditate. I loved being able to swim a lot more often, those sorts of things, yeah? So what did you love and enjoy? I want you to take a moment now to write that down in your journal. Just take a moment, what did I love and enjoy? Because we're looking at the last six or so months, what have you loved and enjoyed? Whether you've been in lockdown or something else. So what did I love and enjoy? What did I find difficult? I want you to write down now, what did I find difficult? So this is part of putting the past behind us, is acknowledging what was difficult. For me, what was really difficult was um, living alone and just having that, that distance from people, that physical distance, no hugging, masks and all of that, and I've shared that with you. Um, what also I found difficult was um, the emotion side of being in lockdown. So even, I'm, I'm kind of a homebody because I do a lot of work giving to others, as you probably do, then I like my alone time to restore, yes? Um, that I find that really great. So it wasn't necessarily the fact that 
I had to stay home. It was more that I was told to and that I could only go out for these reasons. And I had 5Ks when I could go out and I had to wear masks and all of that. That kind of started to have my will come in on me a little bit. So that, have a think about for yourself, what was really difficult for you? I'll give you a moment to write that down. I really invite you to do this work, dig, dig deep, take a moment and go into this process. What was easy for you? What did you find that just kind of flowed? And feel free to share if you'd like to. What was easy? I'd love to hear some easy things because we know it's been really challenging for many people over the last number of months, but what was easy for you? I'd love to hear. All right, now the next piece is, what would you like to acknowledge? What would you like to acknowledge within yourself? Whether it's something that you overcame, something that you experienced that felt difficult and you came through it. For me, what I want to acknowledge, and I'm sharing from my own perspective to give you an example, I want to acknowledge that as a team, we stuck together and moved through the last few months, that we created some amazing things like our new YouTube channel that Georgie did incredible work on, um, that we, you know, that my team were around me and their, their support had me laugh when, uh, you know, and cry. <laughs> um, so, you know, really, I want to acknowledge the fact that, um, you know, we cared for each other and we took time to actually connect and keep moving through um, what was an unknown every day. So I feel like now we're getting some energy to this because this piece here is really, really important for us to move forward, okay? So what would you like to acknowledge? What would you like to have heard? So imagine we're sitting in a big circle and it's a safe, trusted, beautiful circle. I'm holding the space for you. I'm connected with you. I'm listening. Everyone else is listening for you. No judgment. Everyone's open hearted. We've all just done a meditation. And, and you're thinking for yourself, what do I want to have heard? What's really important for me that I really want heard? And often we can hope that others hear us. And sometimes we, you know, will speak the same things, wanting to be heard when something else is going on. And that can often happen when people are saying the th same thing to us. And sometimes we go, why do they keep badgering on about that? Because what's actually happening is there's an underlying current that they're not getting heard, but they don't know how to say it. And so if we think for ourselves, what's actually really deep for me that I want heard, then that is what a really big part of what helps us move forward and often what we don't connect with because we don't stop and take stock and be still long enough to do that yeah but if you can acknowledge within yourself that there are things that you want to have heard that maybe won't ever be heard in the way that you want them to be heard by others but if you can give yourself that gift then that allows you to leave the past behind and then bring fresh new energy into the future yeah and so for me, one of the things that was really important about being heard is that for myself only is what I want, wanted to heard because I used to seek feeling heard from others all the time. But through the work that I've done over many years um, and still do, um, because it's a daily practice, um, one of the things I wanted heard and gave to myself was, yeah, it was hard. It was, it some, there were some days that it was really hard and I didn't know the answer. I didn't know how to move forward. And I felt alone. And there were times where my body wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. And there was emotion. Yeah. And so feeling that and hearing that for myself, just in my own meditations, was really important. So what do you want to have heard? So take a moment to write that down. So the last piece here is, what do I want to leave behind? Okay, so I want you to write that down now. What's coming up for you now that you want to leave behind? It might be 
habits, it might be language, it might be um, people, <laughs> or a lot of people have shared with me through this time that they've realised who they want to stay connected with, the energy they want around them. And then what do you want to take forward? Okay. So what do I want to leave behind and what do I want to take forward? That then allows us, as we move into, because this is the present, allows us to have choice. So this here is about choosing because we've done this work. And can you see if we spent, you know, um, in talking circles that I've facilitated in the past have been three or four hours. So we're doing this in a very short time. But if you, if you imagine that you sat down with a few friends or your family or your team and you really invested some time in this process, even if with your team, if it was an hour, and you actually gave everyone a chance to answer these questions and feel into it, start with a little meditation, then they're going to start to have clarity about what do I want to bring forward? So that's my choice. What am I taking forward, yeah? Because I've done this work now I'm getting some clarity about what's coming forward.